Hello, today I want to bring you a uh, puzzles. I'll be bringing a very short, hopefully, uh, of what is the thinking process of when you're in a position, what is the best move? If you have a good move, look for a better one. That's correct. You uh, may have a better one. The more you get used to this, the more it's going to be easier for you to spot the best move. But you have to be practicing. Don't just look for one candidate move. Look for a minimum of three candidate moves. So this is white to play, okay? White to play. So it all, always depends on when. Uh, the, so white to play, you'll notice we have A, B, C, and the bottom. So this would be the white part. Sometimes we flip the board. Sometimes these puzzles flip the board on you. So you make sure that you are looking like from like from the black's perspective, but here is from the white perspective. In most notation you'll be seeing like this, but sometimes these puzzles uh, on places like liches.org can flip the board for uh, you. Like here you have the flip the board section. Anyway, so white to move and win. Notice that black had a nice, nice structure. One, two, three, four has four pawns. One, two, three, four pawns. Uh, we have a queen and a queen. And um, we have a rook and a knight. Uh, versus a uh, bishop and a queen. Okay, so those are dynamics too. What are you left with at the end of the end game? And that's studies. There are so many studies that you can go through, and I will not iterate on that. But right now, what should you do? It's white to move, and you think to yourself, what is the best move? Okay. So you start looking around. Is this remember checks, captures, and uh, threats? If you don't see a check, then you move on to a uh, what can you capture? And if there is nothing you can capture, what can you threaten? And if there's nothing that you can really threaten, what can you do to improve a position? Sometimes you're stuck and anything uh, you, you you don't know what to move, so you just do a waiting move. But uh, those are the basically the guidelines. Checks, captures, and threats. Okay, but also with, with uh, deep thinking here. So can we do something that we can first check the king, the black king? Is there something you can see? Okay, let you think for a little bit. You can pause. All right. Okay, this is not that easy to see. It's not like a really natural move because you're lining this up right here and this would be a check. Do you see how this is checking the... Uh, this is checking the... Uh, the queen is checking... Right here, I'm trying to see if I can... Uh, see, it's checking the king right here. But it's so close to here, so sometimes you feel, I'm not going to go over here, it's just going to be taken. Yes, it is going to be taken, but you have a reward for this. Do you see what reward you will have for sacrifices your queen? Now notice the black queen is very close. It has an escape square here. That's a good thing. It has a, it does have an escape square. Because if this goes down here next, anyway. But cannot go on the next he move here because you have detained it by a check. Usually you gain tempo by checking, okay? So the king has to either move or he has to delete the threat here, the check. So he cannot move. Do you see that the king cannot move anywhere? It's stuck. So the only thing it can do is take it with the rook. But then by doing that, what do you see you can, what you can do here? What can you do with this pawn? Isn't this beautiful? What a beautiful ending here. Beautiful. I'm, I'm just uh, amazed at how beautiful it is. Do you see what had happened here? Your, your move is next. This is like tempo, tempo. It's very tight here. Very tight. I mean, you got this menacing uh, queen, but it cannot move because it has to take care of issues here. And now look what we can do. We can now promote, usually... To a queen, we promote. The pawn has reached by taking the rook, has reached uh, the eighth rank, and only a pawn can promote. Or sometimes you could under promote. Sometimes you could have uh, like a knight where this the knight would 
you have to always be thinking. Don't just say, oh, I'm going to just do a queen. Always be thinking. Is queen the best here? No, you are usually sometimes in time trouble, but that's okay. Uh, you need to practice these end uh, game top puzzles. And do you see how this is not checkmate? How is this checkmate? Well, can the king move? Cannot move. It has no escape square. This one has an escape square, but this king has no escape square. But this is beautiful. Okay? It was mate in two. So you moved up the queen close to the rook sacrificing the queen the rook takes the queen but at the same time when you have pawns on the seventh rank you are very close very close my friends to promotion and this is what happened here okay do you wanna do you, do you wanna review this no you can just uh go back and uh do this again but i really really love this because it's not very uncommon to have uh, a queen right next to a rook, you know, it's going to be sacrificed. So if you don't see the next plan, the next step is to promote your pawn, then you would not even consider that as a candidate move. But you see, you have to have a couple steps ahead. If I do this, what will the opponent be forced to do? Basically, it's a forcing move. You have a check. It's a forcing move. He has to do something or she has to do something. The other person has to do something and it, they had to use uh, the rook and by doing that that was the only option uh really uh you have to get rid of the check uh you were able to promote with a pawn and by that promotion you were able to win the game here because you, you promote to queen and the queen the, the king is uh, can move okay so it's check mate thank you so much take care